Happy New Year everybody! Welcome back to another video on my channel and today I have another installation. You know it's freezing cold out here and my fingers are getting numb. I'm pretty sure it's the same for you and the least I can do for you is help you to turn your PC into a burning room heater. Literally that's possible by the blessing of mod community. So here I'm going to show you how to get that freaking graphics for my last video fully install it and then play it and to get started first and foremost thing you have to do is download them and in order to download them you'll have to visit the link I have given you in my website or patreon you'll also get the link to get RTGI from Pesca Glitches patreon I'll give you a direct link to his Patreon so, can, so that you can actually get this. And now once you download all three of these files and we can finally start our installation. So firstly I'm going to start with Reshade. Open up Reshade setup.exe. You'll also have to download this from Reshade.me. And also give you the link in my website or Patreon. So what you'll have to do is just open up your game and then select all the effects and then install it into your game. Even a nine-year-old can do it but if you can't well that's a big shame. So once you've done that you'll have to copy the RTGI from Pascal Glitches Patreon. You'll just have to copy these two files and go to your game folder the Witcher 3 bin 64 and as you can see we have already installed a uh, reshade just paste it actually you have to paste inside this and replace them but I have already installed them so I'm not gonna bother doing that and when you do that you'll have to install the other mods so this is the Witcher 3 HD rework project ultimate which uh, turned this game into, uh, you know, very HD, add new models and retexture everything. And uh, installing this is actually kind of easy. So just go to your Witches Free folder. You can see your bin file. Just drag the bin file over here. You have the mod folder. Drag this here, and and fundamentally that's all you have to do. You'll have also have to install the Ultimate 7.0 Phoenix Lighting Mod. It's the uh, same, do the same process, just drag them in here and you'll be done. We're on one step ahead, like one step, I don't know, never mind that. Just open up your game, let's go to 64. We're going to double click on our game because we still have to set up our graphics mod. Wait a little time. I'm actually processing the video right now. Uh -huh. Alright. So our game has started. You know, how in graphics mod takes a bit longer to lo uh, just load. Now we'll open up our game as well to show you how to actually do this. Now you'll have to actually uh, choose the INI which is our reshade present. I will also give you the link to download this. And when you download this you'll just have to drag it into your game folder. And actually that's it. This enables you to play it in ray tracing, in global illumination and new that effects that turn this game into a, you know, a blazing shit. And look how long it's taken. Like it never took it never took me this long before because you know, new graphics. Especially because uh, the HD project it's a huge mod like nine GB or ten. I think it becomes even bigger when you actually ex um, extract this thing. Alright, just wait until it loads up because when it loads up I'll be able to show you how it looks and also show you around different settings because I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't like depth of field and uh, god rays and stuff 
sometimes you actually have to uh, disable them so you can play this game and enjoy it because not all the time you love high graphics sometimes you just want it to be you know a lot dull and stable and here we are we're actually playing on a very high resolution so oh, nah. uh, yeah why oh, not that sounds lovely Show you somewhere a um, bit nice. So, as far as I know, a lot of you guys don't really like depth of field, it's blurry and makes you feel like you're actually blind. Nobody likes to be blind, I mean, that's the only reason why I have my glasses. So, if you want to turn off your depth of field and let's not feel like you're blind or far, far isolated. You just have to disable it, just search for DERF and you'll find multi-msupply.dof.fx Click it and it will be disabled You also have another one that just gets in your eye and that is God Race. Just click on it and it will be disabled As easy as that And actually that's it You have your graphics mod set up in your game You can enjoy it, play it as much as you wanna Ban your whole rig and all that, whatever. I'm not responsible for any of this. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!